All right, what's up guys, people? This is the first video of four on spiritual fasting. This first video, I'm gonna start with my personal experience on fasting for 40 days, only drinking water. Not tea, not juice, not water with lemon, just water. <laughs> Welcome to a series on spiritual fasting. You'll learn all about what the Bible says on how to fast. Also a great app that goes through everything the Bible says about fasting. It's a great supplement to these videos. Before we get into it, I have to say a 40 day fast is not for everyone, but it is something that God instructed me to do. I was not expecting to share the story. Only a handful of people actually knew why fast for 40 days what what got me there i've been on a spiritual journey on drawing near to god the bible said if you draw near to god he will draw near to you so honestly i was in the kitchen it was probably like 12 a.m and i was at the refrigerator and thinking about a deeper relationship between god and i the holy spirit christ really having the mind of christ um desiring spiritual gifts and being a true servant of God and a warrior for Christ, going out and winning souls, going out and healing people and just being in God's presence. That's what it was for me. After like the first day or two, I wasn't really hungry anymore. I wasn't desiring food. The first week to two weeks, my focus probably actually wasn't on what it should have been focused on which was God. It was focusing on probably survival. It was focusing on, you know, having enough water, making sure that I was attentive at work, which is not the point of the fast. And so around the third week, so probably like day 15, I started to notice that I wasn't able to focus as much. And so this is when uh, I started to rely less on me and my will and my strength to get through the fast and started to focus on God. And I really, really wish I would have done this from day one. I really missed out. Around 15 to 16, that's when people at work started to notice, okay, a slower pace. I'm used to like a fast walker, um, a little bit more upbeat. Uh, so they noticed my pace was beginning to, to slow down. There are health risks to this. And even in the Bible, it warns fasting can bring health risks. Jesus even said this, and I'll go over this in the other videos. Day 20, water started to taste horrible and I had no desire to drink water anymore. So I was becoming dehydrated. I knew I had to drink water, but it just, it, it tasted horrible. I don't know what it was. It was kind of like a, mel uh, a, a metal taste to it. it. It tastes horrible, but I powered through it. I tried different water. I tried uh, distilled water, drinking water. Um, and eventually I landed on uh, mineral water and that was somewhat bearable. I should have been looking for spiritual water to satisfy me. I was like, you know, I've done 20 days. I'm halfway, pat on the back. I've done good. I think it's time for me to stop this fast. I'm not drinking water like I should. I'm dehydrated. I, I can't focus when, when I think. Uh, I'm not driving at this point. Um, I'm falling behind in my work. I'm feeling bad. So Sunday, I go to church. I go to Faith Church. It's a large church in St. Louis. If you're faithful over a Bobo car right now, if you're faith, faithful over a Cray Cray husband, the pastor there was more so lighthearted. His focus was more so on bringing in new Christians, new souls. Well, right now to that low playing job. Sorry, I'll be back off. You got blessed and <laughs> baptized. You baptized in the name of Jesus. She's on the front row like, doo, 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 doo. But anyways, on that day, something completely out of the ordinary and like, he just never does this. You want to live out your purpose, dreams, destiny? You want power with God. That's what I really want. When I walk down the street and I see people that are in wheelchairs, maybe somebody that has a family all the time, I see it where somebody's got some special needs child and I think, man, what I wouldn't give to just go over there and say we serve a God that can heal your child. Can I pray for the child and God do it and him get all the glory? Come on, somebody. That's what we want. 
It's not more Instagram followers. It's not more likes. It's not our own YouTube channel. It's not more money. He completely breaks down. Let's give our life to Jesus. Let's give our appetite to Jesus. Let's give our eyes to Jesus, our minds to Jesus, and say, God, not my will be done, but your will be done. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh crap. You want me to finish this fast, Lord. You want me to go 40 days. I was about to quit. This was the day. I was like, you know what, 21, we're good. Three weeks. There were a lot of fasts in the Bible that were only three weeks. 21 is significant. I have made the milestone. I think we're ready to move on. And God emphatically said, no, you're gonna finish this fast for 40 days. Um, so that's what I did. I took off from work. Uh, so that's when I told my manager. And for the next 19 days, I spent my time in the word on the bathroom floor because the last, the back half of the fast physically was very wearing. And nowhere in the Bible does it suggest that your fast is going to be pleasant. Your spiritual fast may take you through some stuff. Uh, may not, but it may. And so, so make sure you're in communication with God. You're listening, you're talking. Some of the things that I went to, through physically before I get the spiritual. Just being completely transparent, this is going to be gross. I couldn't even drink water without vomiting the water right back. So, I, I mean, I would drink it and, you know, three, five minutes later, I'm vomiting it right up. And so at first it's clear, but then uh, it starts to kind of get a green color and then black. So now I'm vomiting uh, a mix of clear, green, and a black substance. But spiritually, well, I always read the Bible, but it was kind of sporadically, a chapter here, a chapter there. Um, and I've been reading it since I was, seriously, probably in, in, in high school, right? I'm 29 now. And up until that point, I only got gotten maybe halfway through the Bible. And so during those last few days, I completely read the Bible. I, I, fi I finished the Bible from where, where I left off. Started with Isaiah 50 and I completely read through the Old Testament. I'd already read through the New Testament, already read through the first half of the Old Testament. So that's the part that I needed to complete. And the revelation that I got reading through Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, through those prophets scripture, scriptures, those prophet scriptures, is I knew that God loved me. I don't think I really knew, knew the love of God. And oddly seeing, reading those scriptures, I overwhelmingly, I understood the love of God. I understood that even through punishment, he's always looking to give us a way out. We're the ones who screwed up and he's always looking for a way a way out and when he's punishing us it's because he doesn't want us to live a life of sin he wants us to understand that hey i love you what you're doing is going to kill you the wages of sin is death not only in an aspect of heaven and earth but on earth living a life of sin is a dead life you're not alive so i understood and i saw and I heard through the scripture, the pain God felt for punishing his people. It was a pain, it's like a mother or a, it's like a parent's pain of seeing their child suffer and knowing the best thing for them to do is to do right, but to do right because they want to, but to, to do right because they have changed. And that's what God wants for us. He wants us to do right, to love him, to have a life that's prosperous because we love him, because he loves us. And so that became abundantly clear. And through that, I, I, see, I see people different. I see myself different. I see sin different. And it was also confirmation 
that I'm to continue onto this journey, continue this journey of drawing near to God. The journey that is not just for me because my pastor, that breakdown and that shift, there's an, an entire shift in our church from that day. It is completely different. The atmosphere is completely different. I got some clarity on my streetwear brand, Black Mustard Seed. In my living room, I have like, I have samples everywhere. And so I was looking at the samples and I was physically sick. Like I didn't even want to look at it. And I'm like, Lord, what is this? And he's like, you need to get it together, basically. God put in my heart that this brand is not a company, it's a ministry. This brand is not just so you can make a buck selling the scriptures and the word of God on a t-shirt or a hoodie. This is a ministry. And yes, you get to do cool things and cool designs, but whatever you do, whatever you put out, it's God first. When I'm putting out Instagram posts, making sure I'm not just putting out a post, just to put out a post, but it's actually, it's out of a place of worship. It's out of a place of commune, communing with the Holy Spirit and him saying, you know, this is what I need the people to hear today. Side note, anybody who says God doesn't care about your business or, or, or business in general, corporate life, it's, it's just not true. God cares about your business. That's one of the reasons why he punished the Israelites. They were doing business and they were not truthful in it. Are you righteous with your money? Are you righteous with your time? Are you righteous um, with your employees? Are you righteous when in your customer service? So he cares. And so that's my revelation after 40 days of fasting. All right, my phone died, but I know we want to know one more thing. If you didn't eat, and you only drank water, how many pounds did you lose? I lost upwards of 40 pounds. You should not do this for diet purposes. Only do this if God leads you. So let's not stop there. See the full series on spiritual fasting. Also, if you have an Android phone, check out the spiritual fasting app by Ask by C. And don't forget for the YouTube algorithm, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when videos come in. All right, we're out.